welcome to the vlog. Guess where we're going? To LA. To Los Angeles from Orange County for our first influencer event. It's Alexandra's first influencer event ever. Yes. Yours too, no? Mm, no, I've done online ones, but this is the first in-person one. I'm so excited. It's going to be SkinCeuticals x Instagram. And I love skincare, so I'm very excited about that. Why are you excited, Alexandra? I'm just excited to go. I'm excited to network or like meet people, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, be the class clown that I am. <laughs> yeah, Alexandra's very goofy and that's good because for me, I don't know. I think meeting people is going to be a big challenge because I'm fine when it's one-on-one -on -one and I love meeting new people and like, I don't know how to explain it, but with groups, it makes me kind of uncomfortable to approach. So <laughs> that's what we have for. Uh. <laughs> a really cool discussion that I think would be fun to discuss here so we can get your input as well we're talking about long distance relationship so the context is I have a lot of friends a lot of friends and acquaintances who are in long distance relationships that started off long distance what are your thoughts about that I just think it's a, a little goofy when you start it online because you've never seen the person and so you start dating and you're like oh so when am I gonna see you and you're like oh I don't know I'm in school so maybe a few years and you're in a relationship like you're committed to this person that you've never met yeah. for a few years like years yeah someone's tailgating me I'm about to check really you're gonna break <laughs> so regarding long distance relationships what I think is I think to each their own, obviously, if that works for you, cool. But for me personally, I don't know if I would ever be able to do it because I hate texting and I cannot imagine texting a person. Like, for example, with the people... Ah! I don't know. Okay, for example, with the people that I know I'm going to go on a date with or like people I'm romantically interested in or people who are romantically interested in me, if they do not ask me out within the first 24 hours, we're not going to meet and I'm never going to talk to them again because I don't like texting. Unless it's like a friend thing, you know what I mean? I just can't. And so I feel like with long distance relationships, I guess, what do you think about the aspect of, because I was talking to a friend that I was telling you about, and then she was like, oh yeah, so long distance relationships are great because for the like three months or whatever that you're not seeing the person, like obviously you update each other on your lives, but you really get to focus on yourself and reach your goals. And I was like, yeah, that, that does sound kind of nice. So when you're dating someone, you still, you still have to make time for them. And it has to be like, oh, I don't know, we're seeing each other again. Um, I think that if you're like, oh, it's great because I get to focus on myself, do you actually want the relationship? Are you willing to give it time? Actually, it's a good question. Because that sounds like an excuse. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's a good question. It's like, oh, well, I actually don't mind him uh, living somewhere else because, you know, waking up once a month and that's fine because yeah. I have so much time. But like, so, what if he's like, oh, I'm moving to live with you? Yeah. You'd probably freak out. Yeah, that's you know a good point. Mean? Like, with someone you actually really love and want to spend your, I don't want to say life with because things change, but, yeah. you know, you want to spend the majority of your time uh, at this moment, you yeah. want to be with them all the time. Like, it's just natural to want to be with them. To want to hang out with them versus like other people. You just want to because you like that person. Okay, but well, Alexandra, so Alexandra is a relationship expert for those of you who don't know. She does over coaching sessions, so if you want to sign up, book it's. I'm going to put a link in the description if there is a link. There is a link. If you're opening up to other clients. Okay, but okay, so if you're a relationship expert, then I want to continue this conversation. What if hypothetically I'm your client and I'm like, oh yeah, so I love my long distance boyfriend, but I'm not sure I'd want to move in with him because I really love the independence of it, but like I still love him. What would you say to that? I mean, you need to define love in that equation. Because equation? Getting mathematical. Well, like, <laughs> statistics paid off. <laughs> you just need to define those things for yourself and you need to figure out what you want from that relationship. If you just want to say that you have a boyfriend, you know, then that works for you. But if you want to, like, oh, I want to have children the next two years or whatever, like, I want to get oh, married in more. six months, it just depends on your goal, like, what you want yeah. from that relationship. Okay, interesting. Yeah, because I don't think all, all relationships have to be family oriented, especially if you're younger. <laughs> no, it just, again, it depends on you. Yeah, it's uh, but that's subjective. Okay, but what about your current boyfriend? Almost oh, fiance. He's not gonna watch this video. He's not gonna, okay, so. <laughs> Your uh, almost fiance. If, for example, he was like, oh, so he's originally from St. Louis, right? Yeah. So if, if he was like, oh, I have to go there for six months, and uh, you cannot visit for some reason. Well, I, I can't. 
and you cannot visit for some reason, what would you do? Six months. Knowing how bad he is with like FaceTime and texting, yeah, I would suffer a little bit, but I would wait for him in six A year. Months. He would have to come here to visit me because a year is a long time. He can't. No, he will. He's in military. First. No, no, no. I, you know him. He would. <laughs> he, would. He, would, he would walk. <laughs> he would swim. Yeah, he would. So that's fine. As long as he visits a few times. Okay, but let us know your comments or your um, input about long distance relationships. Because I think, I don't know. Or what, your experience too. Oh yeah, because the biggest thing for me that I do not see myself in one, I don't know, 100%, I do not see myself in one that starts as long distance. Because with my patience or lack, like, I just could not do it. But if we have a relationship and then it becomes long distance for a period of time and then back, I get that, you know? You just need more momentum to begin with. Like if you were dating for a year and then he leaves for three months, your relationship was, will most likely survive it. It just depends on your relationship, you know? The, yeah. The actual relationship. Yeah. But if you just met like five days ago and he's leaving for three months and you're not going to see him for three months, that's going to be very difficult. You this is. <laughs> Toodles. <laughs> if you guys have any questions or relationship experts here, she'll respond. Thank you. I'll make her respond to my comments. <laughs> Traffic is starting. Look at that. Oh my god. It's all red. I see you red. Okay, that's not bad. Red. Parking. Parking is the most stressful Oh yeah. Part. So with parking, it is the biggest thing. And I was talking to a friend yesterday and she has an event in Los Angeles, but she lives in Los Angeles on Sunday. And she was mentioning how when we had our little chat, because it was via Google Meets, she was like, oh yeah, my boyfriend's looking for parking. We talked for an hour, an hour and a half. She's like, yeah, my boyfriend's still looking for parking. Because <laughs> it's LA, <laughs> Los Angeles. I would not want to live here full time, unless I have to. But um, for the event, they actually provided us Uber codes, but it's only one way. Do you want to walk back, actually? Yeah, I'm thinking we're going to park pretty close, okay? I, I'm staying positive. It's all about the mindset, all right? I think we should park in this city 45 minutes away, get an Uber, and then walk back. I think it's good for us. Yeah. I need to bring my Hoka shoes next time. <laughs> Hoka yeah. So yeah, parking is a pain in the ass. We're five minutes away and obviously we still have to find parking, but I'm so nervous my hands are sweating. Me too. Really? Yeah, for parking. <laughs> The traffic is really bad right now. <sighs> yeah, yeah, maybe I should turn my temperature down. Yeah, her temperature is at 1 million degrees. I, I always, as soon as I get in the car, I always put it to like 80. Please, I'm gonna tell you what's on me, I'm so sick. Yes, how's driving in LA? Super fun, so excited. <laughs> I'm so glad I'm not driving. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> oh, girl. actually Santa Monica and I realized that I've been here before I went to um, a concert by I don't know it's in my highlights if you go to events it's gonna be there um, but it was a concert out of the beach of he just mouthed hello he was like he was like <laughs> I should have I should have put it in the vlog point is I was in the concert here on the beach and it was really nice but yeah here it's a lot of people it's a lot of bikers just a lot of life and it's a little bit stressful for some, not for others, because I'm here. I'm, and people behind me are so pissed right now because I'm going like 10 miles an hour. You actually, you're going 19 miles. <laughs> yeah, I just, I'm so scared of pedestrians and just, I don't even know where we need to go. But I know they're pissed, I can just tell. It's okay, it's okay. We're about to go and how are you feeling? I just really need to go to the bathroom. But I'm feeling okay. I saw a lot of people in there already. It yeah, looks like a um, pretty small room yeah. full of people. But it hasn't even started yet. Technically, we're 30 minutes or so early. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But we found parking Did almost right away. Congratulate us. <laughs> the most stressful part is over. But the thing is with that is that they all look very put together. And we look fine, obviously, but it's like more on the casual side, so I don't know. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Sorry, guys, I didn't know. <laughs> Okay guys, video diary. 
the biggest thing is that we don't really know what to expect. What do you think it was going to be? I thought it was going to be like a big room, just pretty dark, and there's just people scattered everywhere, and it looks like it's a very small room. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited. Yeah. <laughs> Russians everywhere. <laughs> I kind of want to film the bathroom and show you guys. Look, the lighting is really great here. Also, the fact that we're shooting together. Yeah, we're just locked ourselves in the bathroom. <laughs> no, let's say we have. But look, it's a beautiful lab. I think with the location, they just opened it here, which is why they're celebrating. Yeah. I'm excited. Also, Alexandra, while you were here in the bathroom, I was waiting, obviously, because I wouldn't touch her. Um, I was thinking about it, though. No, just kidding. So, they were cooking something, and they were talking about like, chicken shawarma or something, so maybe they're going to eat good tonight. We'll see. Okay. I'm excited. Okay, we'll we should get out. <laughs> Up close and personal. I think they're just setting everything up. So yeah, far. Still it's, what time is it? 12? It's like 1 p.m. No way. It's not going to start on time. You already know it. Yeah. It's 12 away. So we're 8 minutes. <laughs> Okay guys, we're back. So, time to spill the tea, time to spill the beans. The beans. Let's share. Oh, my back hurts. <laughs> I feel like oh. we were there for seven hours. We've been there for been two and a half, two and maybe. A half. Yeah. Because there's so many people, your social battery runs out very quickly. I am such an introvert, I can't. I mean, obviously I like, I like getting to know people, but one-on-one -on -one groups, they drain me. <laughs> yeah, we met some people, not yeah. everyone. Mm. We thought we were gonna go and just be like, oh, <laughs> just, just get to know them, but not harder, I don't explain it, it's just different than what I thought was going to be, you know? Plus I feel like their, like their content focus is different from yours because they yeah. mostly, I feel like they mostly focus on like beauty and yeah. skincare and you know like that, that area but yeah. theirs is more I got everything. invited because I was thinking, I was like, because they invited me, obviously I'm going to go but I was like, okay, SkinCeuticals X Instagram but then at the X Instagram part, I was in the Creator Collective program by Meta actually we did like five meetings over zoom every week and because one of the people who works in meta i got invited through that which is really cool mm -hmm. working with meta <laughs> like what? and then i was on the with the um i had a meeting with the developers of the app and us creators were just suggesting different things about how the app could be improved and so so yeah that was really cool yeah it, it's a yeah. cool thing to go to anyway. I want to go to more influencer events. I've never met with creators like in person in group settings before, which is really cool and it's kind of refreshing just getting to know different people. But I think for the first event, it was actually really good. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, for the first one. But it was very packed. There were a lot of people and not a lot of space. Yeah. It's typical for LA, I'm pretty sure, but there's just not a lot of space. Like you were just standing really close to people mm -hmm. and because everyone was talking, it was so loud. Yeah. Some people that we talked to, I couldn't even hear them. I was just like- Same. I, yeah, it was, it was tough. <laughs> yeah. It was tough. But made a few jokes. So my day, my day is complete. Oh, my day cool. was successful. Yeah, I've approached people too. And it's honestly like with approaching people, it's not as hard as I thought it was going to be. I'm just kind of like approach. So the point is guys, if you have an opportunity that's related to your career and it's going to help grow your career, Take it and expand. Not, you know I mean? not even necessarily your career, just if you have an opportunity. Any opportunity, yeah. Might feel uncomfortable at first, might feel kind of scary, awkward, but just jump right in. And I have another event actually coming up in, I think, April 4th or something. So, oh, in like a week. No breaks. <laughs> no breaks from the influencer life. <laughs> well, maybe I'll vlog that one. <laughs> maybe not, but that one's in Beverly Hills. So, my other sister is going to have a lot of fun driving. Yep, yep, yep. 
Always hire a driver. <laughs> yeah. But don't hire. Just get your sister and she'll do it for free. <laughs> we don't get paid. <laughs> no, my family well, does not get paid. All right, our next stop is Air One. Yeah, just to see what it's all about. Look at the cars. Car. Car, it's a Tesla. Mercedes car. Model S, FYI. Model and there is a Mercedes and just, oh wow. Yeah. There's a Prius. <laughs> There's a Prius. Okay, so for those of us who don't know, Erwan is an organic grocer and cafe, as they say. But basically, it is very expensive. And all the celebrities go there, all the influencers. Everyone I follow from LA, they're like, oh yeah, I'm gonna go to Erwan. Isn't it the most expensive store? Not in the world, probably. There's probably more expensive in Dubai, because some places in Dubai no, are No, in crazy. the US. Oh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe. The point is, it's like, uh, what were we saying about the, the pita something? Quinoa or something that's Yeah, there's like some kind of patty that's like $15 for a patty Yeah Cause it's like super organic And the smoothie is like what, $30? Oh yeah, there's one, the Hailey Bieber smoothie or something is $35 Not are, to get involved in drama, but We are creating um, traffic Well, I'm not kidding Okay, but I just want to show On my vision board actually I don't know if you can see in the little corner here I have Air One smoothie because I've always wanted to go This is one in Venice, so We'll see, I don't know, just shoot some content maybe. Because I think honestly overpaying is insane. Like Whole Foods, if you're making a lot of money, Whole Foods or Sprouts or whatever, where everything's like $7 and up, I guess that's fine. Both Air One, where you get CMOS for 25. Unless you have a lot of free money, then I guess, but uh, I don't know if I would ever indulge in that. But it's cool to check out, I think. Slay. I think they would have valet. I'm not sure, but there are people in the parking lot who clearly work here. Oh my gosh. Parking lot guards. This is a busy, busy place. Yeah, Look. but people come and go. They come right. in and they go out, so they should be okay. Yeah. At some point they have to leave, right? Hopefully, hopefully. Going to the back. This is exclusive content. Exclusive content. <laughs> Air One BTS. <laughs> right. Ooh, look at that. We're gonna show you how the store Ooh. works. Ooh. Like there's yeah. nothing much different, it's just expensive. Like the ice creams, eleven dollars per pint. Yeah. So I don't know. But it's not too different. So. Sorry, go ahead. No, I feel I like I feel like the brands are kind of the same. Yeah. You know those, those brands that you never see anywhere? Yeah. Here. Yeah. Oh look at the water. It's like airport prices. Yeah. It's just pretty though. I like that it looks good. I think that's cool. Basically, we're just walking around. Look at this. This is $4. This is like water. Better not pay for it because I don't want to pay for us. <laughs> but otherwise, it's cool. I think it has a lot of people who are also looking just like us. Just like for oh, for sure. Yeah. You go in there, you're like, why is this too expensive? And you just walk around looking at prices. And you're like, what kind of stuff do they have? It's like a museum. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yum. We got food at Chick fil A. Yeah, because Vera was getting hangry. So Okay, so it is officially 3.48 p.m. I think it's time to end the vlog. Honestly, I'm exhausted. I feel like we've been at the event for like six hours and we're there for two hours. I don't know. <laughs> so tiring. But if you're a brand watching this and you want to invite me, feel free. Invite us. We're a great company. <laughs> we're so thrilled. I'm excited. I thrive off of people. <laughs> I could go to another one right now. <laughs> no, honestly, I could. I just want to go home, honestly. For me. Okay, so we're going to feast and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more vlogs. A lot are coming up um follow me on instagram follow alexandra all of on instagram. the links are down in the description yeah. follow her amazon storefront if you ever wonder about where this body suit is from for instance it's on yeah. her amazon it's, storefront it's all there it's all there otherwise have a beautiful rest of your day and remember we're going together always, always. bye